Hey guys, Brandon here with True Fly Supply coming back at you with another Fly Tying 101. Today we are going to be checking out the Bend Back Fly. This is a great, nice little fly for soft, delicate presentations, but also it has a unique feature in that it's bent backwards, which helps keep it kind of being a weedless fly. It's great for fishing mangroves and say like oyster beds when you're fishing for reds or snook. So let's go ahead and get started. Put your hook in the vise. We are actually gonna do something here. And this is, like I said, how the fly got its name. We're gonna take the first little bit of our hook here. We're just gonna go ahead and bend that upwards. We're looking for a bend of about 30 to 45 degrees, probably about something like that. That'll look fine. Go ahead and get our thread started here. Now this is a very sparse fly, so there's really not a whole lot of materials in it. But like I said, it is weedless, so that makes this fly a fantastic option for fishing the salt. Go ahead and trim off your waist here. For the next step, we're gonna grab our poly flash, which is this guy right here. And just get a little bit off, just enough to kind of do the body. That should be enough right there. and go ahead and tie it in. Once that's tied in, advance your thread forward and go ahead and begin wrapping it. Like I said, it's a sparse fly. It's got a little bit of flash to it. Not a whole lot as far as building up any sort of body and everything goes, so. Go ahead and tie that off and get it trimmed up just like so. If you have a rotary vise, this is where you flip the fly over. I'm just going to do it like this and just flip it over in my vise just like that. So that way you can start working on the bottom. For the next step, just grab your white bucktail. Like I said, this is a sparse fly, so you don't need a whole lot. We're looking for something about the thickness of a matchstick or so. Just getting all the under fur off right there. And we don't want to go super long on this. Probably about something about right there is fine. I like to do a couple loose wraps to kind of just get everything in. And then that's when I start tying it all, all down. But what we're looking for is to get that hair to stick up like this because that's what will ultimately make this fly a weedless fly. Go ahead and trim off the excess here, just like so. Then grab your crystal flash. What's funny about this crystal flash, and uh, it, honestly I think because it's on a zip tie, it always reminds me of like, you ever see Mad Max? Um, and it's got like the doll heads on the pike on the front of the cars. It always reminds me of that. But anyways, we're going to grab two strands crystal flash here. Trim that off. And then we're just going to tie that in the side. Two on this side. Tie that in loosely. And do two more on the other side. Just like that. Perfect and get it all trimmed up, just like so. Now, once you have that in, go ahead and grab your chartreuse bucktail. And again, we're looking for something about the thickness of a matchstick, not too wide. I'm just having a hard time deciding where I want to pull from here. I think I'll do it from right there. I really like this piece of bucktail because all these fibers are super long on this one. So I typically like to save these for bait fish patterns like clousers and stuff like that. But this is fine. So again, we're looking for something about the same length here. I'm just going to fold everything back, make sure we get a good grab on it. Again, a couple loose wraps just to get everything kind of tied in there. Just like so. And we're going to tie, cut all this off here. Just like that. 
All right, get everything cleaned up here. I do have some stragglers of bucktail. This isn't gonna make or break your fly, but I like to keep everything tidy. Just like that. And then we go ahead and whip finish and Bob's your uncle, that's it. That is all this fly takes. So you should be able to crank out a bunch of these really quick. And it's an effective pattern too, so that's always good. Whenever you get a easy tie, that's an effective pattern, so. If you aren't subscribed to the saltwater fly tying supply drop, head on over to trueflysupply.com, hit the subscriptions button, and there you can check out all of our supply drops. We got trout, we got saltwater, we got fly tying, you name it. So, like I said, head on over to trueflysupply.com, check us out, hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video, and I will see you in the next one.